Hey guys, I'm Rosavane, and welcome back to another episode of VLR, Virtue Slash Reward, or Zero Escape, Virtue Slash Reward. Last episode, we basically, uh, we basically chose Betray. We haven't finished the Betray route. We were, we were, like, pretty much going into the Betray route here and kind of going into an ending. Um, but we got our 9 BP, we're able to go out. But in a weird way, our character Sigma is kind of confused by why his blood is red, or white, I mean... His blood is red. I mean, blood is red for humans, that is. But uh, why his blood is white after getting cut by uh, the scalpel when he was trying to take it off of Alice's hand in the previous episode uh, that we played through. So it's kind of interesting. Um, so we're going to see what the heck happens here and then move back around to choosing ally in the same branch that we saw in the last episode and then uh, continue from wherever that leads us off to. No! What are you saying? Of course I'm human. I'm 100% human. I swear to God, I have no idea what it is. You have to believe me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you haven't really proved your point. Oh, you're the one to talk. We can't even see you. You could be- you could even be a robot. Maybe that's not even a suit. That's just you. Robot, you. いいえ。さすがにそれはないと思います。いくら記憶を失っていても、自分が人間か、そうでないかぐらいはわかりますから。How can you be so sure, though? I feel like that's not true, but we're- we're not sure either way. 私は間違いなく。they probably just program you to think that. とにかく。こいつが危険な存在であることは明らかだ。みんなで取り押さえよう。ええ、そうですね。いや、もうええな。四つを裏切ってBPは9になっておるし、一人で脱出されてはかなわんからな。I mean, it's kind of dumb though because everyone else has gotten out once on their own and it's frustrating to- s again, it's the same frustration of why can't you just let Sigma go out and then suffer in his pain of going out alone. Hey, hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I spun around and ran for the number 9 door. Wait! <laughs> Crap, let go! Let go of me! I was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however, and I writhed and twisted in a futile attempt to get there. Get free. God damn it, you have to let me go! This is all some kind of mistake! A misunderstanding! It's. it's conspiracy! <laughs> I'm kind of weirded out by the fact that this is what is going on. Crap! Get off me! Let me go! Hmm? No! Don't! Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what did he use? What did he use on me? Oh, now I'm in the infirmary for once. The first thing I felt when I woke, woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all, all the way across my neck. So they, they hit my neck really hard, I guess. K must have suffocated me. Oh, I see. He just held on. He just... He just headlocked me really hard, and so I knocked out. My head felt like it was it had been stuffed with cotton, and I had to put my hand put out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? Wait, no! Don't tell me they leave. They left me in here to just like and everybody else escaped. Like, don't tell me everyone escaped and then left me behind. How long have I been out? My foot bumped into some onto something, into something, and I looked down to see the injection gun. 
A glass vial labeled Soparil. It was still attached in it. The anesthetic. After choking me, they'd make sure I wasn't going up in the near future. That meant I could have just fell asleep. You could have been asleep for a long time. Where is everyone? I glanced around the room. Check the beds. Check the beds. Is the beds empty? It was empty except for me. Or did everyone leave and then I'm just now stuck here forever? Because they were like, well, this guy escaped, tried to escape first, so then <laughs> they leave me here. It took me a moment to realize what was especially odd about that. Oh, it is empty, the beds. Even Quirk and Alice had disappeared. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things. Two other very important things were also gone. My bracelet and my left hand. Wait, what? His left hand? Wait, no, the, we, I think we wore the bracelet on our left hand, I think. I think they cut my hand, they, not my hand, but the, they, they cut Sigma's hand to take his bracelet to make sure that they all could get out without me, it looks like. That's so jank, dude. For a long moment, I just stared dumbstruck. What I, what, what I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. But there it was, a smooth cross-section of my arm where her hands should have been. A thick white liquid dripping slowly from the stump. What? What is this? Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah! I scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. Then after that, nothing. Game over. The white liquid has no explanation, and I don't get it. I mean, it is true that our characters have never bled before. Like, let me save over this, because that's that's going to be my next save point anyways. My next save slot. It doesn't really explain too much about what the hell this white liquid thing is. And it just kind of confuses me even further that that exists the way it does. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm very confused by why our... I mean, it is true that uh, none of the characters have been cut, like injured cut before so this is kind of like the first time we're seeing it at least um uh, somebody getting cut open with the wound but uh yeah that ending just kind of makes me so confused but it, it kind of implies that they all escaped with the number nine bracelet but specifically because they thought about it and realized wait couldn't we just leave with the bracelet and not even have to have everyone have number nine bracelet and sacrifice one person to stay behind or whatever because they deserved it but it's kind of stupid though that's the one problem i feel is stupid throughout this whole game's endings like the slew of ending we've seen of almost all the bad endings we've seen sigma never gets out deal's ending was the only one that we managed to get out but that's because of the fact that we uh that's because we needed to figure out the truth behind deal but it's so unfair otherwise that every other ending doesn't let Sigma leave to like have some sort of like ending and where he's like you know like kind of trying to do whatever okay I'm gonna skip all the way through we already went through this conversation with Luna in the last episode so if you missed that just what rewatch that ending portion of the episode of course in her bit she just talks about the hand and we just looked at our hand being like oh god it's not red it's not the blood it's white <laughs> for some odd reason and we're spewing white blood instead. Yeah, it's just the same old conversation that didn't change much from the last episode. So, we're good. Alright, we're gonna choose, uh, ally this time. So, yeah, I'm just skipping as much as I can. Here. Yeah, there we go. Ally, yep. Thank you for voting, okay. Ambidex game. Daini round. All right, cool. So we've gotten to round to the, to the other round now. All right. 
So let's see this path. This is the second one that has like the long path that stems down, I think. Yeah, minus this left side. This was like not even, this left side was never a thing first. It was like, it, and it cut off right here, I believe. Yeah, it cut off like at the, uh, at, like at the novel part right here. So like, that's the only one that wasn't that long until I discovered it, I guess. But yeah, this is like the two obvious paths that has like a long lengthy ending here. I'm assuming that this is the path where it unlocks the white door, the last two white doors that we haven't unlocked yet. Um, because we haven't been through the puzzle room for the white doors, and we were blocked here previously, but I won't touch that uh, until we go through the rest of the other branches that has like their uh, their question marks still. Because I want to try to get at least all the normal endings, like all the, the bad endings uh, that cuts off shortly, so that I can get them off all of off of all the lists and then we can just start focusing on like the locks and the uh whatever's left behind for the story because i i, I want to get a clear picture of where everything is at before kind of aiming towards all the endings that we can find so far but anyways luna and i luna and i stepped out of the ab room i could see the others filling out out of their rooms as we did Sigma -san, of course if I was to do this path, obviously I would chose ally. I didn't want to choose betray. I needed to choose betray to just get the hell out of that ending, get that ending out of the way, because it's clear as day that was not going to go any further. But the mystery of it is pretty interesting, I guess. Yeah. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing: the mysterious white liquid. Sure. I like how she likes to what <laughs> I like how she just wants to see the results now after. <laughs> Instead of the if, if it was betrayal, she doesn't want to get involved. If there was an ally, she's like, I'll get involved in this kind of thing. <laughs> Luna nodded and walked off towards the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. The white liquid didn't seem to have cl no, the liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out since it was still oozing thickly out of my slit of the hand. Out of the slit in the hand. In my hand. What the hell is this? I, it couldn't be blood, could it? No. That was impossible. No. No matter how many times white blood cells clump together, they'd never get anything that looked like that. And I had never seen my blood do this before. In 20 years of life, 22 years of life, I, I'd seen my blood bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time I bled red, like any other human being. So why was it this time it was white? What the hell is happening to me? Oi, Sigma! What you know, it sounds kind of like Zero Junior in a way, <laughs> in the way that it's like, Oi! <laughs> what was it? Sigma Kun, Fai Kun, which is like what they said earlier. <laughs> I, I mean, I heard it. I heard Zero Junior shout to to Fai and Sigma too many times over to remember what they say it, how they say it. Yeah, yeah, right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. Alright, that was expected. Everyone is accepted. Everyone accepted their faith. I do think that uh, in this particular path, there is a potential that we'll see everyone escape except for Tenmyoji and Alice. Because the next round, technically, everyone is guaranteed enough points to get out except for Alice and Tenmyoji. Uh, unless we play the uh, Nonari game up until those two gets enough points, which would require at least three more rounds or something like that, two to three more rounds, but even then the majority of us would want to leave already at that point, like six, seven of us already would want to leave while leaving behind Alice and Tenmyoji. 
But again, the dangerous part is Dio is evil. So like, if Dio gets out, he would rather kill Alice and Clover when he can. But I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be weird though. But I am very worried, ex- extremely worried that this whole results of this whole of of this particular path in general is going to lead to some crazy stuff. Honestly. Yeah, because I feel like it's gonna lead into something crazy. It's it's gonna lead to something crazy because I'm I'm having a feeling that it hasn't gone crazy yet, but I'm fearful that because there's there's a limit, you know, there's a there's a limit to how much normality that we can go through. But I I I, I wish it was like this where it's everyone's allying and never just betraying. But obviously, with some certain people, it's just ridiculous, I guess. Now, if only if Ten Miyoji and Alice teamed up, like they're a pair, and then deals back to being solo, or is being solo, and then they pair up in one group <laughs> because the White Door forces them to be together. Oh, I want to see what happens because that means that Dio would have to stay behind with them because he can't ally betray them at all to get points to get out. ファイさんにあそこまで言われては裏切りを選ぶわけにはいかないでしょう。うん。天明寺さんとディオさんも協力に。当然じゃ。いや、別に天明寺はいんだよ。わしらが裏切りを選べばアリスのBPは0以下にな
Yeah, this is the last pairing in this particular path. Oh no, the the bracelet is on my left hand, so and that's where I cut my hand open. <laughs> so if they see what my bracelet is, they could potentially see the blood on my hand. Yeah, because Tenmyoji wants to see it versus us telling him what we see. Everyone nodded and held their arms out towards him. I stared at them, terrified to sh follow suit, but certain that refusing would only draw more suspicion. So I held my arm out, hand tightened into white-knuckled fists to f hide that cut. When their eyes landed on my hand, my heart skipped a beat. So I'm a solo for the first time? Naruhodo. I'm a red solo for the first time. Red's my favorite color, so... I mean, that's that's how it goes, but... I'm a solo for the first time, I think. Dio to Kei wa kiiro no pair. Ooh. That's not the first time they've paired. Uh, the playthrough number... Excuse me. Playthrough number three, they paired up, I think, as well. Uh, excuse me. Jeez. Yeah, this is playthrough number three right here. This green door right here on the left side, the far left. Yeah, they paired up on this side at, on the white door section as well. So it, this is not their first time paired up as a yellow or paired up as a uh, pair. But it is their first time trying to or the first time like. No, no, this is the second time that they're paired up for each other for another door. Mm. Cyan. Magenta. And I'm a solo red, apparently. Sigma Dakega Solo Banka. Aka no solo. Tegotoa, Imushini Rioniwa, Nani Rono, Nani Bananda. So we know that we have Clover and Fi who needs to be figured out, as well as Alice and Quark. Uh. Wasturuna, Pea Banjakara, Srezere, Aikatanga Iru Hazujanga. Mm-hmm. Wait, Luna and I are pairs? So two of them are our partners. Wait, I'm confused by what he meant by that. Yeah, the other two are gonna be Oh Luna, I see I'm I was thinking Luna as Clover for some reason. My head is just like, wait, who's why why do you know Clover's like thing or it is like no it's not Clover it's Luna Luna is Luna is the, the one here I forget <laughs> names are just eluding my head for some odd reason. Mm-hmm. Because the white. Complimentary colors of white. Yep. Yeah, Wait, are we are we actually going to the white door? Yeah, this is floor B, so Oh no no, they're showing how they went to to the location. Yeah, it's how they went. Yeah, I was confused. I don't know why they do that. It's like, why confuse me by showing that that's how they got through the, the door to, to get to the white door room or the warehouse room. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be the last door set, actually, because we don't have any other door colors left after that. バングルカラーの合成色を白にする必要がありますところでペアバンの表示色はそれぞれ水色紫色黄色の3色でしたよねですから混ぜ合わせた時に白になるのは赤緑青の3色になるというわけかうんえそういうことです。Nobody disagrees. Everything is correct. How much time do we have left to get to the next white doors, I wonder. They haven't really checked to see how much time is until the white door needs to be open. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
私も戻りましょう俺も行くとするかな Oh, interesting. Deal's first time being like, I'll just follow you guys. I mean, this is a weird one because Deal's not like pissed off or like angry or trying to be on his own. Like, he's not trying to lone wolf this the whole way through so far. So, it's pretty interesting to see that he's kind of like a little bit more sympathetic in a way. Fair. Sigma san to Luna san wa, do na sa imasu ka? Uh, Luna probably might need to talk with me about the white hand, the white blood on the hand. But at the same time, she could easily just say, I want to go to the infirmary, I'm assuming. Yeah. About what? Eh. <laughs> eh. Means that she said yes. I'm guessing when he said about what, he's actually truthfully probably saying it in Japanese, saying like, You mean about that thing is probably what he said, I think, instead of saying about what. I think he says about that thing as a yes or no question versus having to be a subject based thing. Her usual pleasant expression had been replaced with, a, with something much more sullen. She must have noticed that there was something wrong with me. There was what. That was what she wanted to talk about. I was sure of it. Okay, fine. I managed to make my voice sound almost relaxed. Oi, oi! Futari de costori to mitsdanka? Itta nani o takurande agaru? Nani mo takurande nan ka imasen yo? Honto ni taishita koto ja nai desu. Ch! Mai. Katte ni shiro. I feel like he does kind of care, but he's just annoyed usually when he doesn't get to know everything. I mean, Deal's the type of person who's just like doesn't want to lose out on any loose ends because of how he is suspicious for anything because of the fact that he's part of that terrorist group. So he's afraid that they think that he's suspicious of being a terrorist or something like that. When in fact, the majority of us don't know anything about it at this point, I think, because Alice and Clover never mentioned enough about the terrorist group that they're chasing after, the organization. So I don't think this is the path for that, unfortunately. It's just. In the other paths, it exists, but this one doesn't seem like it exists at all whatsoever. Dio tossed his head with a mixture of arrogance and feigned disinterest and marched off into the yellow door. Ten Miyoji and Kei quickly followed. In, order, in only moments, all three had disappeared. Alright. Luna? So, uh. What was it that you wanted to talk about? I was almost certain I knew, but there was always hope. I did my best to act as if I was genuinely confused. Um, okay. The garden, I'm guessing? As strange as her request was, I had no reason to object. I kept her mouth shut and followed Luna as she headed off. Just teleport us. Just don't show us where we're going. Yes, I was right. I kind of knew that was the case, that it was the garden, because it's the only peaceful place and the most furthest place away from the infirmary it would be. But, uh... It's the most peaceful place because it's like, you don't have to think about any problem. It's, it stresses you less. If you're in the garden? The garden? <laughs> yes, well, sort of. I came here once when I was looking for Alice. So, <laughs> this Uh, I didn't go to the garden when, uh, <laughs> when, when we were looking for Alice, I think, because we had to rewind back and it was like an assumption that we went through here. So, uh, what brings you here? It's what brings us here, not, not you. It should be us. この殺風景の施設の中で唯一緑があるのがこの場所でなんていうかその月並みですけど自然っていいなってそう思って深刻な話をするには打ってつけの場所だと思ったんです緑を見てるとそれだけで心が癒されるから 
そこにベンチがありますね座りませんかはい。